Hey everyone, it's Crappy Kathy here with a combination of Mixed Media Mayhem and Pink Fresh Fridays. So, um, I had some technical issues and uh, just life got in the way and I didn't do my Mixed Media Mayhem layout yesterday and my Pink Fresh Friday layout is due today. So here I am um, on Friday morning uh, doing both and I'm gonna try to combine them and it's going to be weird. Um, this is the layout that we are lifting this week in uh, Mixed Media Mayhem. It's a really deceptively simple page that actually has a lot of layering and um, movement in the mixed media. And the mixed media is cut off. Now, I don't know if she did a full page and then cut the page. I'm gonna try masking my page. And if that doesn't work, I'm gonna just go with some leakage of mixed media over here. And I have a paper that I can cut a border from. It's a pink fresh paper. Everything I put on this page is gonna be pink fresh other than the mixed media supplies and this Bramble Fox Coffee Makes Everything Better uh, title piece. So I'm gonna put that, all that stuff aside and hope I don't spray on it. So I'm gonna cover it up with a protective sheet of something. What can I protect it with? I'm just gonna protect it with my other craft mat. I have this Tim Holtz one, which you, you can see is very uh, well used and loved. And I have this one, which is um, Ken Oliver. And it's a little, it has its purpose it's for one thing it's heat resistant so if i do any embossing and i use my heat gun or if i just want to dry my mixed media i can do it without it warping whereas this will kind of bunch up and and curl so i'm taking a oh and this the artist here is nanette and she publishes at lacescrapananette.blogspot.com and i'll have that in my um, uh, video description if you want to go check out some more of her work. So this is a sheet of Vicki Booten um, mixed media foundations paper. And I'm just gonna mask off, I'm gonna say about a third of it. And because I don't want my masking to interfere with my mixed media, I'm actually gonna mask off less than that because I want a larger canvas for my mixed media. Okay, I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna get some tape. I'm gonna tape this down underneath it. And then I'll take this there and here so hopefully nothing moves and like i said i'm going to take a very um casual approach to this and i'm going to say whatever happens happens so i'm going to start my very first layer is going to be this hero arts neon yellow spray and i'm going to kind of spritz it in some irregular spots there, and it tends to move around a little bit like this lemon uh, gloss spray from Dina Wakely. And this has a little bit different shade of yellow, but I'm gonna kind of lightly try to maybe fill in get along the edges and I'm not opposed to kind of moving things around with a paintbrush if I need to and this is a uh, distress oxide spray in wild honey so it is going to react 
with the wetness that's already there and maybe give some interesting, see how things are kind of moving around? And it kind of adds a, um, well, of course the honey look, but I'm also gonna spray on some white gloss spray and let it kind of do some splotches. And I'm happy enough with that that I don't think I need to move it around with a paintbrush, but I do kind of want to get the edges colored so that it doesn't look so much like a white sheet of paper. I think we're good there. And I've got some, I'm just kind of pulling up some color from the mat and adding it in. I don't want it to look like it's been painted on. And the, the gloss spray, as I expected, is drying faster than the rest. So it's, it's, that's kind of adding to that look of, of movement. So now I'm just gonna dry it off. Oh, wow, I like that. I, I could have done any color, and I don't think anything else I use on this page is going to be yellow, um, but it will all, the yellow will make a, will, will do a nice contrast. I am going to use some kind of peachy pinks, so that's why I wanted to use this Wild Honey Distress Oxide Spray. Okay, now the moment of truth. We're going to see if any of that leaked under. Ooh, it looks clean. There's a little bit of leakage right there, but I'm gonna put a lot of um, vertical things. Now this is really good um, craft cardstock. It's nice and thick. And I'm gonna put it back in my stash there. Let me get this off. And then I will get rid of this, and now we're ready to go. And and that this, to me, m mixing up different types and colors of spray inks is, to me, one of the easiest and most dramatic ways to do mixed media. It it just this looks like lots of layers and and back when I was doing a lot of art journaling um, I was doing many many layers to get any kind of effect that looked like this and and this is just so easy peasy I'm wondering if I still want to use this strip and I'm gonna go ahead and cut it out and try it on and see how it looks. I, I want something, in, in the original, she did a lot of stamping along that line and I'm going to have some um, word strips to go along the line, but I kind of thought I might like some other division. And I like the fact that this particular paper is printed with gray lines on a kind of off-white, not exactly cream, more of a taupe off-white um, back, uh, background. So it's gonna contrast with 
both the white and the yellow. And I'm not um, being too careful about, the, the lines are, are printed nice and wonky. So it doesn't give, uh, it's gonna give an interesting look there. And I'm gonna go ahead and for the areas where I didn't cut exactly the same up against the line, uh, that's easily disguised by, and, and it's a trick I use very often, uh, it's easily disguised by um, distressing with uh, scissors or um, I have a distress tool, but who knows where it is. Probably shouldn't do that on top of my mixed media, but this is what that would look like on here. And I like that. Okay, so on it goes. Gonna put just a little bit of double-sided tape there and I'm gonna put it this way so that the skinny end kinda ends up up there. Okay, I kinda like that already. All right, let me get my photo. In her, she's got two photos, one behind the other. I've got this photo of my husband drinking a cup of coffee. It's a, an iced coffee, but it's coffee nonetheless, and it's at a beach, so it kind of looks like a, a boat drink, but uh, it's actually at a pool that's on the beach. So I'm not sure where I want to put this. If I do it this way, it kind of somewhat covers up the coffee. If I put the photo at an angle and put that at an angle like that, that might work. I think I'm gonna go with that. And I think that may be dry enough that this will stick. Let me do that. I don't wanna completely get it off that line. And then this, I'm gonna overlap it by putting it on some foam over on the outside part. Do that. And that leaves me lots of space here to put my little vertical stuff. So, the uh, floral and, and leaf ephemera that I'm gonna use that will kind of uh, somewhat mimic the, um, the original are these from a Pink Fresh collection called Days of Splendor. It's a fall collection and I think this was winter when this was taken, but it was down in Pensacola, Florida. So I'm just gonna start kind of putting these things in and building the additional color story here. Um, I've got, I did not, I will confess, I did not um, test and, and uh, open up my glue before I started filming. I'm kind of in a bit of a rush today as I was yesterday. And I, uh, today is, tonight is Barrett's um, first, he and the, the, he's been working out for football, the coaches kind of, you know, building the team for next, uh, next football season, which is 
next school year when he will be, when Barrett will be a senior. Now I want um, a couple of similar floral um, pieces. One that goes down here with the same color scheme as one that goes up here. So this has a little red, but other than that, it's it's similar to that. This one has only those colors. I'm going to go with the one that has the red in it, and I'm going to put it kind of right there. Um, let me get a whole piece of foam so that I can use that. I love this photo. It uh, it kind of it's it's just got his magical smile, <laughs> and that's enough for me to love. I'll put that there, and I've got a tiny little piece of ephemera right here. Let's see what color it is. It's kind of got that rusty color, and it's actually stuck to the packaging, but that's okay. I'm going to kind of put that there, and... I've got another green leaf. Let's see if I can find another one, maybe. Uh, here we go. Got two, three green leaves, and those could kind of go up in there. So let me. this I'm going to put the, that on a little bit of foam I'm going to try to wrap this up as quickly as possible because I do have to get it uploaded and processed by um, by three Eastern time. And I have about six things that I need to do before then. Okay, so that's there, and then let me do another green leaf, a couple green leaves here. I'll do that, and let it be flat, and then I'll put this one up. This um, ephemera set came in a, I think it was a Mind the Scrap kit, pretty sure. And I wasn't a huge fan of it. And because it, it's in colors that I don't often scrap in. It's, there, there are browns <laughs> and, and beiges. And, you know, I, I know that's typical for fall and it's not, uh, it's not horrible. But lately, I've been mixing these colors, these you know, kind of um, muted 
dull to me uh, fall pieces with bright colors. I'm actually liking that contrast and it kind of gives something of a, um, I don't know, a bit of, of personality that's a little bit different. Okay, so now I'm going to pull some um, some other uh, some stickers and, and word strips, and we'll see. I'm going to pull from, let's see. I have a set of, uh, I have another Pink Fresh set. I think it's, it's life right now, but I'm not sure where it is. I thought it was on my desk, but it isn't. And if it isn't Pink Fresh, I'm not going to use it on this page. So, this is Pink Fresh, and I want to find a good place to put it. This black and white leaf has been bouncing around in my Pink Fresh drawer for a while. I'm going to just kind of sneak it in right there. I've got this circle that says, this is the sweet life. And it certainly was um, when we were at this is at Margaritaville in, in Pensacola. Whenever we could sneak down to, to Margaritaville. Okay, I can do this kind of under here, and you can still read it and still see part of the cupcake. And it adds in that kind of peachy color that I like. So now I'm going to do this that says typical you. And and I'm going to put, I saw one on here. Okay, wait. I'm going to pull that one up. I want that one farther away. I'll put that one maybe up here. I'm going to alternate hanging them off of one end or the other. So this one says, cheers. And that's kind of cool. Uh, I'm, I was going to bring that down here. I, I guess I will do that because I still want this line to show. It kind of looks like a pencil, uh, penciled in line. And I've got this that says awesome. Let's go back here and do typical you right there. And awesome right there and always here and then what else tough guy can explain whole fast superhero okay i think is the right size to go there okay and then i might like something down in here. I could go with this arrow. Oops, I lost my little flower. What did I do with the little flower? Because I've got to go find another one because I put that one up there to kind of echo this one. And let's see, do I have it on my, did it stick to something else? Let's see, it doesn't appear to be under there. 
I'm sure you all just really get a big laugh out of the fact that I lose something. Every single layout I do, I seem to lose something. Well, I can't find it, and I don't think it's anywhere on here. I've got this extra piece on here that I do not want. Um, but if I can't find a little tiny flower, I'm going to have to dump this out. Aha, uh -huh. here's a little blue one. So it's not the same color as that one, but I think it'll work. And let me put the glue down and get it back in exactly the same place. Okay. Now I've still got this and it's hanging around. Do I want this? Um, that's actually, it could maybe go here. Why not? And I'll curl those up. Okay, now, was there anything on here? I, I still would like something there. Well, I really like this that says moments like these. And now where would I want to put that? Maybe right here. Okay, I think I may be pretty close to done. I had this sheet that I was going to cut maybe some of these green leaves, but I think I found enough green leaves in that ephemera pack that I'm okay. So I'm gonna call it done. Um, I may do my overlapping hearts and I have a white one, and I don't have a green in here, but this is kind of a, an aqua color that might work. Or how about if I just get a solid white one? I'll do that. I'll do the uh, open. the open heart and and I'm going to do it up here and this is way uh, off from the original um, the original is just so beautiful and the original also has black ink spots and it has some leaves kind of along the edge down here and i kind of liked the idea of concentrating everything in these two um, clusters and then having my um, vertical line of stuff vertical line of stuff Okay, I think that's going to work. It will rest on there just fine. Do I need any black splatters? i tell you what I am going to do is some white splatters. I like the idea of the white splatters. Oh, come on. I'm having a little trouble with this. I have some other white. Oh, come on. <laughs> I'm sorry. I will um, have to do. Oh, no. Here, here we go. Okay.
Okay, I like that. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next Friday for Mixed Media Mayhem, and I think a probably a separate layout for Pink Fresh Fridays. But thank you for watching. Bye.